Hello everyone, welcome back to Know What You Like, Lucia here. Uh, today on the channel we're going to be watching The Sandman Episode 2 of 11 Episodes. Um, it's been about a week and a half or so since I last saw The Sandman Episode 1, so some names might... I don't really remember. Um, I do remember Dream though, he is one of many other things. Things from Pandora's box, I believe, or maybe I'm tripping and thinking of something else. Regardless, he was trapped for many years through a summons. I think personally, uh, because they were trying to summon death, I think death somehow was like, not nah, take a dream instead, or that book was just wrong in general, one or the other. But he was trapped for many years there, and you know, the only companion that he had on the, the outside world, if you will, was a bird who tried for years to get in contact with him. And when he finally did, the the young man, little boy, young man, then turned to a young man, shot the bird because he had issues with his father. His father, who who wanted death, or sorry, dream, to bring up death so that way he, he can have his older son back. And I'm like, bruh. And then because of uh, Dream's absence of the inside of the Dream world and into the reality world, everyone's dreams got messed up. You know, they're in, in Dream and non, they're in, people were in induced comas of dreams where they just dreamt all the time. You know, people fled from the Dream world, nightmares escaped and all these shenanigans. Because like, what happens when people don't sleep? Or sleep too much and so it's it's chaos it spread dream was like i will rebuild this place when he finally got back to his world and watch me do it and you know his creations the one with the glasses is like you know taking people's eyeballs and stuff because we saw that out underneath his eyes there were there was bleeding and everything so it's just really curious um like i said in the first episode i do know that Gwendolyn christie is in this show and she plays death so i do know that um, but I'm so excited. Uh, this show, um, if you're watching this episode two on YouTube, you're, there's two episodes ahead on Patreon under the five dollar tier. So just a heads up on that. Um, I'm excited. There's also an uncut under the one dollar tier for this show as well. I have like a piece of hair. Yep, got it. All right. Other than that, let's get started right now. I kept a journal for a while, and then it was all bleak. A chronicle of everything that happened in your absence. It was gone for a while, like 50 years or whatever. But slowly the words began to fade. I never found it again. I you weren't dreaming of words. While others fled. Either she trifled. A librarian of an abandoned kingdom. I never felt abandoned. Why? I knew you would return. So that's what I'm saying. You're either really loyal or you lie. <laughs> See? Rebuild, rebuild, rebuild. He also looks like someone who could be in the Matrix. He's a new Neo. Nah, bro, you too weak right now. You need rest, my lord. I was resting for 50 years. Perhaps a bit more rest, and then you'll be back at full strength. No. No, he doesn't have a stuff. Not without my tools. Exactly. My sand. My helm. My ruby. Well, he looks like he's about to cry, bro. Oh, what I am without them. A man who can control sand. Gara. Darling, how are you? Why, it's the place you got here, huh? Eee. How is he able to find it? How did you get in? Getting in was the easy part. The hard part was finding it. No. Oh, okay. Done a very good job of convincing people that crypts doesn't exist. That's what I thought it was. Apparently not good enough. Well, I'm not exactly people. Because he's out of his cage and he's coming for us. You and me. Why me? I never did anything to him. Oh, you have his stuff. You took his stuff. You stole from him. <laughs> the fuck? Surely it hasn't come to that. The fates see past, present, and future, and they know uh. all. 
Yes. Ah. But they speak in riddles. As they never tell you what you want to know. Only things you should never know. <laughs> Perhaps just this once, you could ask one of your siblings for help. Tell them what happened to you. I, I think he's already the sure black sheep. Know what happened to me? And they didn't save him. Well, not one of them came to my aid. Exactly. Which means they said F the people too. Unless you got money. Anything of mine that remains in the dreaming. Her. <laughs> Is that a dragon? Hi. Well, if Gregory is gonna get absorbed, he's gonna die. <laughs> Good boy, Gregory. Good gargoyle. Oh, he's a gargoyle. <laughs> he's like, huh? <laughs> Why didn't they leave? Cain. Abel. Cain and Abel. <laughs> Gregory, bye. Oh, he's got a little home. Surely there's another way. I wish there were. But the dreaming must be restored. You say that as if we're the ones that destroyed it. You're gonna have people turn back. Disappeared for over a century. Kane. You forget e. yourself, Kane. No. Oh. Oh, stop it. Oh. <laughs> He's like, give me a goddamn hug. Big ass hands. Love you, Gregory. You want me to kill the King of Dreams? I can do it. I know you can. <laughs> you have to listen and trust me. <laughs> then I'm afraid we're both dead. <laughs> I don't have them. Yeah, Probably gave them to Jonathan. I cannot ask the fates for help without giving them something in return. I mean, a favor. There's no. nothing left to give from the dreaming. I have to give my do? offerings from the dreams of others. I understand. Uh, it's it's lost, though. In your absence, these waters have become darker, treacherous, unsafe, nightmarish. These waters are as much a part of me as I am of them. He's I like his eye also. Will not be in vain. Oh, that's cool. I mean, you can't have been in there for 50 plus years and not have become a, a darker, you know? Since one meets the fates at a crossroads, I find one in the dreams of a Cambodian farmer. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> a serpent. A symbol of transformation. Of life, death, and rebirth. I have gathered my offerings. <laughs> the the fates are like, I don't want that. Look at him. He wants something. It's three stages of life. You may ask us three questions. Orochimaru? He's like, whoa, whoa, I was not expecting that. Transformation. That's cool. And get one answer from each of us. Joanna Constantine. Oh. Like, I knew a constant time but that was 300 years ago. Exactly, purchase, does she still have the sand? Dream. That's where the trickery you know better than that. You get one question, they can be one stolen answer. afterwards. My apologies, my lord. You didn't give it to the fates, you didn't it take was it. Not meant for them. Oh. For the land. Oh, so they have a new one. A 
rebirth. Ah, he knew he was gonna do that. He's like, I can smell it. You don't have to lie. In fact, he's, she's like, oh, you took your glasses off. You don't have to say a word. What makes you think? Are that? those teeth? That's wild, bro. Tools. I have my own. Oh, Amulet of protection. It's a baby gargoyle. Oh. <laughs> he thinks leaving this creature on my doorstep makes up for Gregory. Yes, he does. You think it came from Lord Morpheus? Hello, Johnny. What? Hey. Hello, Mum. How are you? I didn't know who's in this. Are you well? Same as ever. Slightly bored. Highly medicated. Professor Lupin was my favorite Harry Potter. Hospital job. Like character, Not period. Prison, if it pleases you to think so. <laughs> what did the doctor say? And they'd be happy. A what if sort of situation. I don't mind getting murdered. Honestly, if, if if that's what makes Kane happy, then hey, what are brothers for? Hey, little brother? Oh, and if she's not, as is Roderick Burgess, exactly. He doesn't give a fuck about you or me. He only cares about himself. Is in the bigger picture. Well, he can have it. Cause I am leaving, and I am never coming back. You can't change it. <laughs> Just like you can't change him. Him, you, you too. That's cool. It's cool. She's like, you might be right. All right. That was the episode. Uh, so, f 100 years, not 50. It might be. Uh, apparently, I can't. What's the word? Count? Here? Whatever. I, I was wrong. Anywho, um, yeah, so we got Dream back into the waking world. This Cain and Abel stuff, very interesting. Like, what? What? And then Gregory, R.I.P. Bud. Um, yeah. So, Professor Remus Lupin <laughs> is in the show as Jonathan. That'll be interesting. Uh, what it was the incident in terms of, I mean, Clearly, he's there for a reason. Or the mom um, put him there because she wanted power back or something. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens with Constantine, Constantine, whatever. Um, speaking of which, did you see, did y'all hear the news that there's going to be a Constantine second movie with Keanu Reeves? I'm excited about that. If it actually comes to fruition. Um, yeah. I still think, I don't remember the librarian's name, but it's like, are you being for real? Is your loyalty true? Or are you like, you know, sneak, sneak, sneaking? Uh, the three fates scene was really cool. They were all themselves, but they're all sisters and they're different starts of lives. The maiden, the mother, and then I forgot the third one it was. But yeah, it's like, bro, bro, you know you only one question, but yet you continue to ask more than one question to each of them. I can't, sorry. I can't answer you my answers. But still, like, come on. Um, yeah, it's a good episode. Good, um, good starting point for this, where we're gonna be headed. And that is for Define Some Tools. Right on. Or if you just need. Just me. All right. Uh, remember, if you're watching this episode on YouTube, Patreon is two episodes ahead, and also the uncuts there also. So, bye.